Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here, and we are back for the final three weeks of Season of the Undying. So it is November 19th, we've got a new activity, or at least a slight change to one. Uh, you've got three weeks left to work on your pinnacles, whether to work on triumphs or anything of that nature. So let's see what we've got for activities for the week, our powerful gear, and we'll get to it. All right, so for the Vanguard tab, your Vanguard strikes are going to be Void Singe all week long, but you do have triple heavyweight week. So Tuesday, Friday, and Monday, you're all going to have heavyweight. Now, machine guns are always going to hit hard on a heavyweight day. It is Void Singe, so if you're running for machine gun kills, maybe you run something like Hammerhead. Uh, but if you just need machine gun kills and you want to double time it, still a solar machine gun is going to be efficient, still hit pretty hard, just not quite as hard. But it's still going to be a good, good way to knock out that edgewise bounty and quest so you can get that thing finished up. For your Nightfall the Ordeal this week, we're going to go ahead and be dealing with our new strike, the one we face, Hash Ladoon. So this will be the one on the moon, the Scarlet Keep. And your modifiers are Empath, Enhanced Radar, take increased damage from melee. So you'll know they're coming, but they're still going to hurt hard. Uh, you've got Unstoppable Champions, those will be your big ogres that you have to manage. And also Barrier Champions that you definitely have to break their shields or be able to manage it. Or people tend to use Iz Izanagas just to crush their shields completely. Equipment is always locked on these things at the higher difficulty. You've got match games. you got to manage your shields. Haven't run this one yet, so I'm not sure which type of shields you do have to manage. Knights, of course, always have arc. Wizards have solar. I don't think there's any void shields in here, so those are probably the two you've got to manage. Radar is disabled. What? Okay, I'm confused. I guess I'll have to try this out. So you have chaff, so you have no radar. But you have empath, so you have enhanced radar. So you have an enhanced disabled radar. If you guys find the humor in that, please comment below, because this is kind of ridiculous. Um, yay, so that's going to be painful. So no benefits there, just melees hurt like hell. And Champions Mob, more Champions, Hash Ladoon's Serenade. Arc damage is increased pretty much everywhere throughout the strike, I'm sure. And knockback damage and distance is increased. So when you're at the top of the tower, she is going to try and push you clean off the top of it. So get a fire team for this one, but I'm sure Esoteric will beast mode this thing in no time. I think he has before. Your other Nightfalls, if you're going for anything specific, you've got the Insight Terminus, Strange Terrain, and Hollowed Lair, if you're going for any of the exclusives from there. Mindbender's Ambition comes from this one. Strange Terrain is going to be your Braytech Osprey the Rocket Launcher. Insight Terminus, that I think is a sniper rifle. I haven't looked it up in so long, I've forgotten. But uh, those are your exclusive from Nightfalls. They're not going to drop with crazy rolls, but they are out there if you guys are still collecting those missing pieces from your collections. So that is the Vanguard. Crucible this week, we've got Mayhem in your 6v6 rotation. This one is always a blast, so at least they went from momentum control, which is kind of crazy fun, to absolute chaos, which is still fun. So come in here. If you're looking for your rotator matches, you need a powerful drop. This is still going to be fun. Um, it's absolute chaos, a good way to mess around with super builds, things like that. Go in there, have a blast. You've also got Breakthrough for your 4v4 rotator as well. This is going to be your kind of old uh, comp version, so Breakthrough is there for you guys. For your core, plate, um, Elimination is there, Rumble, Control, and of course, Comp for Survival and Freelance. And then your Classic Mitch, which I hear is kind of toxic because it's connection only. So people are going in here and just stomping people because there's no skill based in there. It's all connection. It's just kind of chaos. So that is Crucible. Nothing too crazy this week. No Iron Ban or anything. But Mayhem is a blast. So spend some time in there if you need to burn off some steam. It's fun. No real changes for Gambit, but if you do need to spend some time in here to get your um, exit strategy, your submachine gun, definitely do so, uh, as Recluse is going to be getting some changes. Exit strategy has at least got potential in, you know, a primary category. It is a kinetic, so it does take out your Izanagis as an option, but exit strategy still potentially has some nice perks on it. So before the season goes, definitely work on that one if you haven't done it yet. Again, just your three matches will get you your tier two drop. Gambit still doesn't change too much this season. Um... If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. But if you need some powerful drops, three matches and you're good to go. Flashpoint this week is going to be on the EDZ, working with Devrim K. Public events, Lost Sectors, Heroic Adventures, uh, Patrols, I think maybe do a small amount, High Value Targets, all those things. EDZ is easy because public events are going on basically all the time. It's a rare moment when there is none. But go in there, knock it out. Again, if you just want a powerful drop, still a decent way to do it, or at least work on some planetary materials with his daily bounties. Either way, spend some time on the EDZ, knock that one out. Usually pretty easy, especially if you're leveling up. On the moon. So our new fanboy here is going to be the Vex Offensive Final Assault. So I have seen this. Summon the Undying Mine from the thousands of different timelines. Destroy it to secure the Black Garden and contain the Vex incursion on the moon. So this is our final three weeks, and this is your change. The arena itself hasn't changed. 
it is still going to be the three layers, the base, the mid, and then the top section. Where you fought the boss before, all you do is actually summon um, the Undying Mind. He still goes through the same boss progression, same shield things that you need to do to break a shield down. He just has rotating shields, so you're going to have to be a little more mobile when you're doing boss damage. It's a little harder to just like plant in one section and do damage because his shield actually rotates, which is going to take away from your damage time. So one phase is possible, but you're definitely going to need a hell of a coordinated team to do so. Um, definitely move around those shields. It's better to probably be mobile and get damaged than stand still and wait for it to rotate. So that is here. There is sadly no pinnacle from it. I was kind of hoping they'd give us at least a couple weeks of pinnacles, even if it's just like, you know, one. That would have been nice, but apparently not so much. You have your Nightmare Slayer, 30 Nightmares for your Tier 1 drop. You've got your Memory if you haven't done those, or you've got the other option, which has changed once you finish your Memories. This is just a character that hasn't finished those. Uh, for your nightmare hunts, we've got pride, uh, servitude, and you've got isolation. So pride and isolation are both pieces of armor, and then servitude is going to be the fusion rifle where you fight Zydra on the Gate Lord. The other two are Tanix the Scarred, and then you've also got Skolas Kel of Kells. Uh, of course, the dungeon will drop you pinnacle gear. That thing's still a ton of fun. Um, I'm wishing the stat rolls on the final drop was better because it's Dream Bane and it's Masterworked, but Masterworked at 62 means the base roll is 50, which I'm not a fan of, so hopefully they take some feedback on that one. Raid is still up here for Pinnacle Drop, still your best source, of course, as Iron Banner is not here. It is pretty much here. Here, Master Nightmare hunts at 100k on the Nightfall, so work on that one however you can. And of course, Altars of Sorrow, still plenty of action going on there. I'm sure it's literally active all the time. So if you're farming for weapons from there, be it Sniper or Shotgun, definitely check the daily rotation on that one. So in the tower, not too much new. You've still got your Vex parts collected, which if you're going for the uh, Undying Mind, you'll probably get that knocked out fairly quickly. You've got Clan Rewards for your Tier 2 drop, uh, Tier 1 drop for your bounties at Gambit, the Gunsmith, Shax, and then Zavala over there for your bounties. And now let's check out the store. Final store things this week. We've got the Transmat Effect, so the Blind Clutch. Uh, definitely looks like you're literally coming out of Aeris' Stone. You've got the Officious Shell. I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong, but you've got 10% experience isn't bad, but the Public Defender definitely could be better. Still a pretty cool looking shell. I'm a fan of the ornate nature of all of the opulent stuff, so always pretty cool looking there. Uh, you have Golden Pride available. This thing is kind of just sick. Uh, the end actually explodes, is on fire. Apparently my frame rate's getting a little sketchy at the moment, but it is a cool looking seasonal sparrow. Definitely explosive on the rear, on fire for sure. If you like the flame and also the lion look, this is the one for you. The Profiter Shell, you've got Treasure Hunter. Uh, so you're going to get Detects Caches within a 50 meter range and also Speed Demon for all sparrows coming to you a little quicker. Again, there are better ghost combinations, but still a pretty cool one. As for emotes, you've got Precise Strike. Uh, this is going to be your like karate chop on the blocks. And then you've also got Ding, which is going to be your uh, Gambit Coin. Ding, ding, ding. That one actually does make noise. Uh, down here, obviously Festival Loss is gone, so we don't have those anymore. Your Bright Dust Purchases, you've got the Yotanir. So if you're a fan of the big toaster, you got to get this thing. Similar undercarriage and the flame on the back, but if you like the toaster, when it comes to shaders, it takes all of them fairly well. They all look pretty cool and different. So if you like the Yotan Toaster um, Fusion Rifle... Pick this one up. I think we're going to have to get this one. It's still pretty cool. Icor's Resolve. It's an old ship, just the standard one. Kind of chromatic there on the front, so it's going to take shaders pretty well, but the standard one actually has that changed color effect to it. You've got the basic tower shell, nothing fancy, the Bad Omens ornaments, the Imperian Cartographer hood. So if you do want that set, you can buy the hood for all your characters. This set is really cool, so I've been trying to collect the pieces that have been available. I uh, haven't seen one in a little while, at least actually here for Bright Dust, so collect your hoods on all three characters, so at least if you go buy it, it'll be fairly cheap later on. Also down here, Blind Clutch, couple shaders and transmat effects, and the Moonbound Projection for your Ghost Shell. But that pretty much does wrap it up, guys. We have 20 days left in the season. I'm sitting here at rank run 130, not over the top. I haven't picked up a couple exotics, just saving those. But we have 20 days left in the season. Now, to me... When it comes to the moon, I've had a lot of fun. Season of the Undying, we'll have to see what the season brings next, what the transition is, what is the season of dawn. I put up a video about that, just kind of the speculations. I had hopes that it was going to be a little bit more, maybe a different version. Maybe we go through the portal to fight it, but really it is the same three levels. 
and you just have a different boss to fight at the end. So let me know your thoughts below. I mean, it's been kind of a fun activity. When the Vex invasion stop coming on the moon, I actually think the moon's going to be a little less fun because the public events on there are fairly tame and the Vex ones are quite cool. So it's a shame that those are actually going to go away. But we don't know what Season of Dawn is going to bring and what comes next. But we got three weeks left, so let me know below in the comments what you guys are working on. Are you working on, um, I don't know, ritual weapons? Because I know I've still got to finish edgewise once I'm close. Um, exit strategy, I've got some gambit to play, so I've got to work on those. I've got a little bit of comp to play to get my glory up there. So I've got some stuff to do, but I'm not really pressing really hard at trying to get that max level until I know how next season works and pinnacles and stuff like that. So dungeon has been an absolute blast. I love that place. It's really fun. I will work on some solo runs potentially if I can get some time. I've been working a ton, so sorry for the light content for you guys. Um, videos have been sparse, I know. Tried Star Wars, I will get some videos up on that, but content generally just grinding stuff out and streaming and stuff. I've just been working a lot, so kind of trying to catch up and stay alive on sleep and stuff. So thank you guys for waiting and being patient on me, but I will always get content up to you guys whenever I'm able to. So thank you guys very much. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like below. You guys can find me on Twitch and Twitter. I'll be streaming between this and Star Wars quite a bit as I'm still working on Star Wars. And then, of course, on YouTube, if you haven't subbed yet, hit the sub button and the alert bell so my videos actually come to you. Sometimes the algorithm is questionable. There's a whole lot of stuff going on with YouTube, so you never know how those videos are doing. So thank you all for the support. Almost at 43,000 subs, which is amazing. On the climb to 50K is awesome. So thank you all for the support and the love going into the holidays. Hope you guys are having a good time. I will see you soon and enjoy your week. Go knock out that Undying Mind a few times and definitely get that Triumph if you haven't finished it yet. Have a good one. I'll see you soon.